Hi, good morning or afternoon. My name is Mrs. Cartwright and I work up in the College and Career Center. Today we are going to look at a transcript and do a comparison through uh, the A through G requirements for college admission. To do a comparison um, of your transcript to your A through G list if you're looking on applying to a four-year college after high school and knowing that you're taking the appropriate classes, to look at is the A through G requirement. And what you're going to need is in the A section is social science, uh, total number two years, B, English for four years, C, mathematics, three years are required, four years are recommended, D is a laboratory science, so two years required, three years recommended, E is language other than English, so two years in the same language, visual and performing arts, one year, G section is one year of an elective. For universities, when you go to that admission process, they're looking for all of your courses within the A through G to be passed with the C or better. So English 1 is complete. So you can go ahead and highlight that. French 1 and French 1 with an A. So French is complete for that first year. Geometry and Geometry. all set for that A through G requirement for college admission. Your high school graduation requirements are similar. You always want to keep that in mind that you're on the right track for high school graduation and college admission process. For the college admission requirement too for the GPA, they're going to be looking at your 10 through 12, your class rank for your 10 through 12. Your credit summary is also a good place to look at what you're missing or what you are actually in the process of taking.